episode's title and card are misleading. It gives you the assumption that the episode's gonna revolve around marriage, but nothing marriage-related happens until the end. I guess it's kind of a spoiler, too. Anyways, it should have a spooky title to go with the actual tone of the episode. Who the hell makes crown boxes with only four colors? Even so, why orange over green? Why is the stand set up on the sidewalk facing the street? The kids don't drive. Double D takes a large gulp of the hot sauce, while Ed and Eddie only taste a little bit of it. Yet, Ed and Eddie's side effects are way worse than Double D's. I mean, Eddie motherfucking explodes! It's body contorted with a hideous hairdo! Hideous hairdo? Are you sure you weren't just looking in a mirror, Jimmy? So, where exactly is this house? It looks like it's right on the cul-de-sac, but this is the only time I remember seeing it on the show. I remember it being in the Miss Adventures, but in that game it was all the way down the lane. Explanation. Why is this the only jawbreaker on the show, with the exception of some of the ones from Eddie's made-up story in a later episode, to be pink? And bingo! Jawbreaker for Eddie! Then why are you bringing Ed and Double D with you? The Eds break the door down, and it doesn't fix itself. It just stays on the floor. I'm kidding, it fixes itself. Where did these candles come from? Where did the candles go? And did Eddie, a child, light those candles? Children shouldn't be playing with fire! Of all the lousy tricks! They successfully fooled everyone, so you, nor anyone else, has the right to refer to said trick as lousy. Naz looks quite pleased to have fallen for this cruel prank. For fuck's sake, somebody make a grab for it! Why does this statue of a ballerina play a Mexican song? What's next? A Russian doll that plays God Save the Queen? Is it me, or do our heads look like yams? It's a mirror! Well, regardless of the shape of your head, you should have been able to deduce that you were looking into a mirror. I mean, you don't see your reflection on a regular basis. Big butt, so what? So what? Some people like big butts. And they can't lie. A poor defenseless book abandoned and tossed aside like some cheap comic. Double D is not even going to check the title of any of these books before he speaks so highly of them. What if these were like the Twilight books? Or Model Land by Tyra Banks? <gasps> chunky Puffs! Ed's about to eat some Chunky Puffs in a Captain Crunch hat. That's being unfaithful to two brands. We learn that these Chunky Puffs are part of the Kanker's trap, and yes, it is common knowledge that Ed would eat them, but did the Kankers know that Ed would climb into the dumbwaiter and sit in it to eat? This rug is moving, even though just a second ago there was no rug! I gotta question this trap again. Did the Kankers know that a rug would just come out of nowhere? Did they know Eddie would just continue to stand on the rug like a deer in the headlights? Did they know Eddie's legs could stretch this far? I call BS. The Kankers aren't that smart. Double D climbs this ladder to fix the book, but doesn't do anything about any of these cobwebs. Desk, desk, huh? do you know how long I have been waiting? Probably not long, because just a second ago you were nowhere to be found. You teleporting lump. Does it not cross any of their minds to just get out of these cans? It can't be that hard! I'm not sure I'm the right height to this ride. Then just get out! Jesus, you're not even that far off the floor! Even with the cankers, stripping someone is too f***ed up not to sin. If their genders were swapped, Cartoon Network probably would have gotten complaints up the ass. Is it Valentine's Day? Doubtful. If it was Valentine's Day, Jimmy and Sarah would be cupids. There'd be some weird fanfiction-like love story between two characters. And I'd be asking what the f*** I'm watching. Anyways, Valentine's Day sucks. Is that me? Ironing clothes? Well, it's you ironing one sock. That's an article of clothing, but not clothes plural. Look at the soap film on those dishes! Only one dish has soap film on it. These dishes are all dry. The Kankers gave Ed dandelions even though he's allergic to them. This could be classified as allergy bullying. And that Peter Rabbit movie got so much shit about that. At least the Kankers let the Eds get dressed before making them their human horses. I guess they're not so bad. No, they are. The cans no longer have painted bodies on them. Was this rice just laying on the ground? Who does Jimmy think he is? That could have been some homeless person's main food supply! Isn't love a mini splendored thing? That depends. Does a mini splendored thing die after about two years tops but leave emotional scars that never heal? Then yes. Yes it is. Release the wax, ear person!